Microphone check, one, two, three, four. You already know the Gemini Scorpio podcast is in the building. Mr. J Hill, I'm here. Hill of Bay is here. Yo. Y'all know how we get this shit popping, man. How was everybody the week? A couple days, period. You know, life's good. Life is good. All around. Oh, um, I did host a live meditation yesterday that went phenomenal. Um, shout out to Melanated Meditators. They are looking to build a community that focuses on meditation during the pandemic, easing some stress, and really just taking time out for yourself to te- check in with your mental. It was a phenomenal session yesterday led by moi. Hit me up if you want to come, pull up. It's free. And we meditating. We doing yoga. That's what we doing. So so talk about the little, the um, meditation mm-hmm. part for a second. Sure. <clears throat> why, why is it so important for you to do and lead? Um, you're present one. Um, so you're not thinking future tense. You're not thinking past tense. You're not thinking about anything, but where you are right now. Um, when I lead my meditations, I solely focus on gratitude. Um, so I go in with a prayer and then I give people three to five things to focus on for a couple minutes in silence of what they're grateful for. That's it. You do not move backwards forwards um i also train them to if your thoughts go to the left or start thinking of other things like dang i think i might have left my gas pump open or oh shoot i meant to put that check in the bank whatever it is because you know our brains move so fast um kind of like that meme you ever seen that meme when they're like you know i'll be praying to god and then i think of some nasty shit then i'm like my bad god like you know what i'm saying (laughs) like it's the same thing like i just train people so whenever your thoughts go you just move them back and that's literally what you do with negative thinking too if you get a negative thought how to train your brain to go back to a positive thought so just being present checking in with yourself noticing how you feel when you talk about the things you're grateful for just noticing how you feel what's going on your senses your smell how your body feels in that moment so that you could take a moment to just reflect on yourself you know Mm -hmm. the world's busy we're always thinking about other people or we're always thinking about work or how we're gonna get some money or how we're gonna do these things but we never stop to just be so that's what i what i do and what i do it yeah it was a great session really dope shout out to the curators taylor shout out to michelle the yogi yeah it was dope ladies was dope it was guys there and i thought i thought that was dope the guys definitely meditated and it was phenomenal so hope to see more people there for the next one holla at me let me know how was y'all week man oh well alex how was your week (laughs) it was cool man (laughs) chilled uh I didn't really do too much this week, honestly. Right. Sent out a few emails, but it was really chill for the most part. I got to get back to working out, though. I've been slacking. So, y'all got to hold me accountable next that week. Hey, I'm I, just saying here. Alex, you know what this where I'll hit you at 5 a.m., yo, on the way to the gym. You're not going to get a response at like 10. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my workout done completely. I didn't do work by that time. Look, let me stop because I just got into working out at 6 a.m. And what I will say, it's definitely a mental challenge because, like, I, I will tell you, some mornings I get up, I'm like, Nah, this 6 a.m. Ain't is lit for me though. But I it, love it's a that. cool like, no, it's discipline. I love yeah, it now and how I feel through the day, like the upbeat, the productivity, it increases by far. So I'm definitely for it. Because. But if you don't have the time or you don't want you don't have to do that. Just as long as you work out and you get your body moving. You don't have to do that. For me, I feel like because I woke up this morning, well, not woke up, but I was up at like 5 a.m. and I saw like the sunrise and all that stuff. It's just more peaceful, you know what I'm saying? It is. It's quiet, your mind is not as yeah, active and all yeah, that stuff. You're yeah. still I guess what they call it, your the Delta state at that time. Yeah, yeah. Yep. So like you're in your mm-hmm. Delta state, so it's just more therapeutic at that point. Man, yeah. the six. I just felt. I feel like it just helped your day go by more smoother. Like you, you, you wake you up, up early, you're feeling good. You know what I'm saying? Set your intention for the day. That's why, I like, like you get up, and then as soon as you like get, it's like wow, I worked out, I feel good. So now the rest of my day is good. Like you know what I'm saying? I could think clear. I let all the aggression out. But for me, it's crazy because I wake up early. All yeah, the time. Like, for, for no like I went out on Wednesday for um our friend's birthday. And you know, my workout at six, so I ain't gonna lie, I fucked up, y'all, on Wednesday. I did not wake up. My alarm did not go off. This nigga Jay was up at six forty. So I'm like, why this nigga ain't wake me up? He ain't even wake me up. I like, I missed my whole workout. First of all, that's that's what's crazy. She, her, she's her, her workout was at six o'clock. So I'm up at five. I woke up 15. at like six thirty. So I wasn't about to wake you up because you wasn't gonna be the you wasn't gonna go anyway. It's already six thirty. I'm like fuck it, let you get your rest. Fuck oh, yeah, it. I already missed it. You right? You just try. No, nah, you right. No, that that sleep was great. I needed that because I was drunk. Yeah, I mixed Azul and champagne. Never the fuck again, ever in my life. Work. 
No, it it doesn't work. I definitely That's mix the champagne the with thing. the liquor. That should be. No, that shit is not the wave. It's champagne by itself, or as a mimosa, oh, or that's oh, oh, it. Oh, oh. Hold on, hold on, hold on. That shit is not. Y'all using the wave. champagne as chasers now? Mm-hmm. Oh, y'all Bro, niggas, niggas is wild. Y'all niggas is different. Yo, <laughs> never doing that again. Like I felt horrible. Like I remember even when we left the club, like Dave just was like, "You lit." I'm literally trying to meditate in the car because I didn't want to feel the feeling so bad. So I'm like. Please just stop, please, because I just can't. <laughs> please no. just stop. It was that bad. Like, I was like, no, never again. Yo, I ain't gonna lie. It's definitely been, well, now that I smoke a little bit, I only had those moments when, I, like, when I'm smoking or something like that. I'll smoke, and I'll be like, yo, I try to stop everything going on. Like, what the fuck is going on? Like, <laughs> nah. I be thinking the craziest shit. Like, yo, wait, hold up. Like, I'm in a matrix or some shit. Yeah, like, that shit was... Yo, that's... And Jay was driving fast as shit. He might have not been, but it felt like he was going like 120 <laughs> on that motherfucker. I'm in the car. I, you know, every time I'm drunk, I always do that. I want to window all the way down. I'm like a dog outside the window. Like, Please, uh, the air. I need air. Like, oh, my God. That shit was bad. I'm not going to lie. I do think, you know, I never say this, but I do think hitting a J after I took the champagne and Azul made it 10 times worse that was not the like I nigga i was to, in pluto first i, I was you, in space without my gear that's how i felt that's like the motherfucking hookah because you don't ever pass shit that's why like, I like you just smoke my own yeah, shit damn nigga is selfish meanwhile alex over there by himself with the hookah just not sharing with nobody you ain't even get julian a tip you ain't ask joe if he want none what's up the team is in the building shout out to joe monique <laughs> julian they here at pink celebrity at joseph friend D friend, girl. D friend. I always forget the D. I'm right. so sorry. <laughs> and Julian. Geo the Leo. Geo the Leo. Oh, it's Leo season. Ew, 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 ew. It's gonna get spicy. Yo, it's speaking of that, yo, spicy. um, shout to Bel Air. Our, our champagne connect. Our um, our s- plug. Our sponsor. sponsor. Yeah, I was about to say support. I didn't know what that. Yeah, I love. Was. I love this new basket they gave us. It's real classy. Yeah, it's dope. Put it's a dope. little vibe on the table. For a fact. Um, yo. I feel like, before we go on, right, I feel like as we get older, what are some of the things that you just can't do that you was doing when you was younger? Like, like one thing, like, you might can't wake up the same time. Like, you was dr- I seen this one meme, like, yo, 18 me at the night, at, at the night in the club. Ass. I'm like, no, you know what I'm saying? Right. That 30 no, year old me, I'm I need two wild. weeks. Need, like, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, weeks. I'm ace boogie in the hospital. I can't feel, bro. I can't breathe the same. Nothing, bro. It's over. Yo, like literally when I drink now, it takes me a whole two days to recover. Mm. Like if I drink on a weekday, bro, I need two days to recover. Like I'm not doing nothing. Please nobody call me. I don't even want to smell liquor. I need to drink water all day. I need all my greens. I need a detox. I, like it's not the same. I used to drink before and pull all nighters and go to work yeah. when I was younger, bro. Like, and go to, like, literally, I remember on my birthday, I worked on my birthday one year. I literally went out the night, I partied into my birthday at 12, was at the club, three, went to the diner, four, got home, five, changed for work, got to work by seven, I and worked the whole day. I would Hell never no. do that. Sick day Hell me, no. please. I'm sick. <laughs> I can't breathe. <laughs> like, no. No, nah, I feel like, I What's up, you? What's up, you? I got a good one. <laughs> I ain't fucking like I used to fuck before. <laughs> what? Like I used to get it in, yo. Like I used to like, you know what I'm saying? Like two, three well, rounds. He like gave, well, he got everybody what he was supposed to give me. That's crazy. Gary yeah, still get a couple rounds in. I I give I be really shout out for the shit. shit. On some G shit, you know, I ain't gonna lie. It's partially the same for me. So my knees ain't the same how when I was just that riding shit don't be what it used to be, but two minutes. Ah my knees. That's I can't you probably do always been shit. like that. Girls full of shit, yo. Girls Fuck you I mean. don't think I met a girl yet that can really Fuck you mean when hang was, on hang on to the horse for real for real for real like when I'll I be was, done. Thirty when seconds. I was oh, 21. Oh, shit. <laughs> woo 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 Oh shit. <laughs> my bad. Hey yo, <laughs> that ain't your knees, girl. It's this dick? You be getting on that? Whoa, hold up. No comment. No comment. Wow. Plead the fifth. Where's my ding? I was supposed to have my ding on the podcast. I love this room. Crazy. No worries. Next She's time. Violate me. What's, what you? What you? What you not doing? <laughs> what you not doing? Like you I ain't trying to violate you. I said no like comment. That. But uh, it's like the dick I used to be able to go easy. hoop, bro. Hoop all oh, day, four or five now. hours, bro. Yeah. No stretching, nothing. If I go hoop. 30 minutes in. If I don't Tired. stretch, 
Oh, it's a rap. It's a yeah. rap. <laughs> so I ain't lost. We played football yesterday. Yo, I'm old, man. I'm watching. And like, I ain't even do a lot. And they just like, they like, do this, do this. I'm like, man, niggas is bugging. So the, <laughs> I see that they put me in the chat. Niggas is like, yo, we back out here tomorrow. Like, I ain't coming, but I want to say like, y'all niggas are crazy. Like, <laughs> fuck no. And then like, we're not getting outside. paid for this. Like, and then like, it's hot outside, so it's just not it. Niggas, uh -uh. Is, niggas is crazy. Yeah, what, um, else, what is else is something? Because I feel like it's something else, too. I can't think about it. I just want to come to me. I feel like it's something else. I don't smoke like I used to. I feel like I used to be able to. Mm, yeah, that seven, too. Eight, I can't hit J's like I J's used to. J's in a day, but I be fried. Yeah, I, I can't chilling. can't do that. Yo, can we do this? Uh, sidebar. Monique, can you um don't forget to write the uh the um parentheses. It don't have to be for this one, but for the next ones. And just like a a, a brief synopsis of our points. Um, Also, can you write this down, too? We we just you know we just this how we do on the podcast. Fuck yeah, it. yeah, no, this is nah, how Jay nah, nah, does. This, how, was, <laughs> this is how Jay does. He has the nerve. They always call it audible. He switches the. <laughs> no, it's not, it's he switches, not, it's not, switches no the audible. course every week. Jay like Peyton Manning. Can you? I'm, I'm actually about to say the course. <laughs> can you write down um so I don't forget uh and and the trend of topics? Can you write down uh is the question that I want to ask? What's the question? Is it anything? Is it anything that um you was doing to like? To, to hurt somebody, but it backfired on you. Mm. So just write that. Because I know we were going to talk about the little chick that her dumb ass blew oh. <laughs> So we're going to just pause. <laughs> keep that question there. We're going to go back into it. Let's get into the shits, man. Um, so what we at? What, what we, we at? talking about today, Sade? All right. You well, was talk well, Alex brought up the uh, point. You wanted to... I'm going to wait. We're going to wait till she's done. We're going to... All right, babe. Oh, we're going gonna to run with that. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna yeah. go with that one. All right, well, you got more something else up though, man. That's gonna be your own point. I've been feeling it. some type of way, y'all. <laughs> no, 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 we gonna say that because we gonna get there. No, we gonna get on there. We gonna get there because nah, that's that's some shit. Nah, it's yeah. accurate. So, I ain't gonna uh, lie. Let's go back up. Let's go back up. Where, All right, boom. My segment point, segment one with Shade talking points. Oh yeah, I missed it, did we? Okay. Um, side note, I'm just gonna be a lot nicer in the podcast today because Please I was don't told. Know. I was so that I mean on Yo, the podcast. She gonna fuck so, the podcast up. I told Shadé that. Oh no, she's a I'm dickhead. gonna be she's a, classy she's mean on a podcast. But you make the show. The healer no. Bay, meditating Bay. Please I don't. am at peace no. with Wanda myself. I no. am not going to be authentically me today. I am going to reserve back on my assholeness because I through the grapevine. Not the bitches, because the bitches was on my side, but the niggas is saying I'm a little mean. <laughs> but it's Don't okay. Don't y'all feel like we can't handle... Girl, cut this shit. You know, you know niggas can't really handle an aggressive female. You know, I'm a little aggressive. I'm a little, you know, straightforward, you know. But in defense, you know, shout out to my man, because, you know, I ain't never trying to be too aggressive. I still got a soft side. So... I am going to don't, tone it down today. Don't tone it down. I'm going to be very classy. I'm going to keep it real cute. I'm going to keep it real cute, boo. Dang cute with a K E W T. Coot. Cute. So, segment one with Shut you know Talking Points. The Audacity. The All Fucking Dash. Uh, <laughs> caught ya. <laughs> ah. So, the difference between hiding your significant other and maintaining privacy. All Ooh. of it is hiding. This is you. You can post all all the accolades and everything that's going on in your life and all these shoes and bags, but when it comes to your man, you don't want to post him. I need my privacy. Fuck out of here. Girl, I don't know. Shit. Okay, so I don't like how you just switch that to girls because from what I know and what I've seen, it be the niggas that be hiding their females. You know, I ain't gonna say. Oh, oh, I just experienced one recently, and I was like, oh wow. And Jay's such a cunt. <laughs> I ain't gonna go there because that shit was funny last night. But um, so long story short, wait, yeah, what's what? up? You I'll tell you later. Uh, no, because they watch the podcast. I ain't gonna hear what saying. So um, so the thing is, I be seeing guys do that a lot. And correct me if I'm wrong. I be feeling like guys be fucking with females for mad long, and it's like they don't want to make them their girlfriend, but they'll keep fucking with them. But they like ex like kind of exclude them from. They do all the girlfriend shit with them, but when it comes to the representing them publicly or like putting them out there or posting them, it's like, nah, you can't get that, but you still gotta be my girlfriend. What's up? I feel like it's the opposite. Oh, wow. I feel like mm -mm. in the industry, I be seeing so many girls with boyfriends and shit, and it's like, I didn't, well, well not saying see so many girls, I'll find out that they have had a boyfriend, and I mean a long-term boyfriend, whole time they got a motherfucking baby daddy or a husband and it's like they never even post a nigga 
And it's like you'll see it like on I don't know like Valentine's Day or some shit like that. But then it then they'll delete the post or some shit. They in the so club. You know they just wilding for real, for real. But now on Valentine's Day, on Father's Day, on like all these <laughs> holidays, they be like with my man and my boo. Wait, what? <laughs> That nigga exists? Right. Where like, you come wait, from? You gotta, wait, wait, Does wait, this wait. exist? Because I don't know no bitches like that. But, oh, so I will say, okay, what I will say is, I, I, I'm going to make it fair, right? Because, you know, we've been preaching fairness. So, you know, that's a part of my okay. accountability. Yeah, that's a, a, a part of my okay. accountability is we being for, fair. Thank, thank God for growth. You know thank so God grow. for growth. We grow. They you know? ain't going to like this podcast, though. Yeah. Yeah. I can see. We're going to get 40 views. You know, but if I... Like, if <laughs> they I, like toxic, I know, but if I'm if I'm not toxic, if I'm too toxic then i'm getting you're toxic you need to change so i anyway, my bad so what i will say is the thing is um i see it more from guys side but i will say girls are like that and i just think it's a big no-no like i think there is a huge difference with having privacy and still flexing from time to time with your partner um but still showing them off to the world because i think that's a part of an affirmation no like you want to like that's my girl it, it, or that's my boyfriend like that gives you a sense of just like proud. proud like like i'm proud to be with you i'm proud like people be trying to act like no i just don't want people in my business bullshit you post your degrees mm -hmm. you post your shoes you post when you want a trip you post when you popping bottles in a club well post me sweetie because i'm the same <laughs> i'm worth more than all of it you like you know what i mean so doing? that's the okay, weirdest shit up. what they be posting themselves crying and shit i think you said that oh i they fucking like, hate <laughs> Cause this motherfucker like yo picture can you picture somebody Nigga. yo like two things that I always think is funny right like picture somebody one crying in the phone having to retake it and like cry again. I didn't I didn't I didn't cry good enough that time so and hold up thing, it wasn't enough tears hold up and another goofy Delete. ass thing I think is picture somebody like you know how when niggas get upset and they get on Twitter or Instagram and they be yelling at their phone. I always want to be behind the scenes when it happened because you gotta look like because you know what the fuck I ain't. Like, no, like, like if right, you saw no, yourself right now, like you look ridiculous, you look dumb as shit. Like, yeah, no, I don't do that crying shit. Like, I ain't with that crying shit. That shit is so corny to me. Like, bitch, stop it. I will fucking collect salt out the ocean. But this goes and by hand with my pinky, just like this, before I fucking cry on a fucking podcast. Like all the salt in the ocean? nigga, I will collect the salt from the ocean like with all my of pinky, it. all of it, before you ever see me crying on How any social media. Take? Nigga, I died. A year. That, <laughs> you want to be dead? Nigga, I died. That, my point. How long would it take? My dead. point, dead. <laughs> exactly. I'd be dead. I'd be dead. I'm right. dead. Like, Yo, but you know why I think it's more on the girls, honestly? Why? Because I really think it's more on the guys. Like, I'm going to tell you why. Why? Because girls Here are just go. sneakier than niggas. Let's just, keep, let's just put it on. <sighs> oh I feel like girls God. are more sneakier than guys. I'm going like, to tell you what girls it, are better too. I hate when guys say that. It's not that girls are more sneaky because I think it's sneakiness on both sides. I think men are just careless when they do things of why they can't do it like females. Females care too much about your feelings or other people, what they're going to think about them or or like how they're going to look and they don't want to... I didn't say me, sweetie. Don't give me those eyes because I don't give a fuck what people think. But... To a degree. But what I will say, guys are just careless. Like, niggas will forget they sent the bitch an address and they phone to come pull up on them. Like, we'll forget. Like, and then just go to sleep. And then the bitch, like, are you coming? And it's right there on the phone. Like, stupid shit. Girl's not doing that. Like, so what girl's doing then? I don't know. You know what the fuck they doing. <laughs> Cut this shit. I just know they ain't doing that. So what they doing? I ain't never seen no sis go out like that. So like y'all, so y'all really the ones that don't got the names. Don't y'all me. Y'all really the, yeah. girls are really the ones that got the names saved on the piece of her. It ain't the niggas. It's the woman. Now they got to know, you know what they. Nah, niggas doing stupider, sis. No, you know what? You know, no. I ain't never meet that sis before. Your, your mom don't even got no girl kids. Hey, you know what's smart <laughs> that I just thought about? And I'm pretty sure girls do. They save the name as a number, but as a 188 number. <laughs> so like a bill collector. How, how you do that? You just that? save the number as oh, nah, that's, put you the first some, name you as some next level. Seven, seven, on some five, next four, five, four, five, four. He on some next level, Jake. Yeah, I see what he just did there, but that's some shit you did. Let me go through your phone right now. That ain't what I did. Give me your phone Man, right now. I done seen, I done seen you can have niggas it. say women's name as niggas names. Like it's just my man's. Todd or some Chris. random name. You know what I'm saying? So who called it Chris? <laughs> nah, well, niggas don't even save names. I don't save names. Nah, I don't save yeah, names. Niggas don't even do that no more. That's what, yeah, because you, you, I've seen a couple unsaved numbers in your 
someone that was like hitting you off the like late night. But you ain't see nobody hit me off no late night. So stop lying. What time is Because I'm night? a respectful bitch. Don't even call me after What's 10 because that's night? what my late grandmother night? taught me. You like call after me after 10, 10 o'clock. Exactly what and, not, and, and, and no, after 10, don't call me after 10 because that's how I was raised. Okay? Mm, if you ain't my man, don't call me after 10. <laughs> like, period. Then one nigga hits you and was like, yo, did you get home safe or something? Or oh, you hit him like, I'm home safe? That was 5 o'clock in the afternoon, in the evening. Hell no. That was, was at like. It was 5 p.m. It Damn, was five. So that PM. was the early sneak off. Yeah, no, it wasn't no sneak off. You that's got not what happened. Er- nigga said, "I right, hit me when you get in the house. I'm home safe. It wasn't no five p.m. Hell no. Wait, I'm just thinking about it. First of all, that was my family friend, and second of all, it's because I was high and I just smoked with him and his fiance, and they like, what the fuck? And he asked me. We really had that high. conversation. Like, we could you, do like, it. Like that matters. Like you, you smoke with him and his fiance. Like that matters. Like I did. Like, 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 like. I was high and they wanted to make sure I was good, so you just text me when you get home because you fried, my so, nigga. So you, you five p.m. Are you my girlfriend? Yes. Am I your man? Yes. So you mean to tell me we done did some things, and you gonna tell me that you smoking with a nigga okay. and his fiance means Not, something to me? You want you, cut you, the shit. You want to know where men and women differ? Because I ain't doing stuff with my see niggas is dogs they'll do it with it, it, they man's fiance they sister's fiance's they best they they friends fiance they they do it with they sisters the sisters that they done call sisters for years they ain't really they sis and they, they, like i i don't know what type of time you want baby <laughs> don't do that <laughs> don't do that because <laughs> we could take i'm nice shot day on this podcast today <laughs> I'm not even indulging in this type of behavior because Yo, what I so recommend. Petty, <laughs> Yo, yeah, it is. Yo, what's so up with you, bro? It. Hi. I'm nice. Hot day today. <laughs> so, what was your point? You said that you ain't doing it with who? I'm just not do doing. I don't, I'm not doing none of that with no like my people's like nah niggas. They be the ones that you do it with because no, you trust them, right? That's is that what it is? Keeping in the family, incest, nasty, <laughs> just nasty, just nasty. Ain't no blood, that ain't nasty. Anyway, so all I'm saying is, this is what I'm gonna tell my that sisters out here, because it, it ain't blood. That's the problem. That's the problem right there. So you never had like a a, a friend? No, I don't even. Yeah, right. Oh, now you don't care, <laughs> right? And Monique said, "Mm-mm, off the rat. Mm-mm." Girls know they damn well they had. Friends with benefits, head asses. But Cut the shit. But I ain't calling bros. They wasn't. Let me not. I'm nice shot day to day. <laughs> ah, stop tempting me. This shit is hard as a bitch. God so, damn. So you never, you never, you never had a homie like that's my homie. My homie. Yeah. Nah. If if I was fucking with you, you you was either on the verge to be my nigga or like some a nigga. Just that's it. Like you ain't no. We wasn't besties. Fuck you mean. Okay. Hmm. That we got we got our shit off on that. So no, because I ain't even finished. Okay. So like I said, so guys will stick. (laughs) Guys will still fuck with you, but won't represent you publicly. Gives you a sense of pride if you get posted. Uh, Oh shit, girls. Girl, what the fuck is you talking about? I thought that was a. I thought somebody. You know, sometimes they be asking questions. I thought Monique was asking something. She went to throw it there. My bad. (laughs) Girls only post holidays. Girls crying on the floor. Okay. Boom. My bad. Sorry, fuck out of here. You be changing the script all the time. I mean, not fuck out of here. <laughs> we been, we not, been said not, we were supposed to. Not fuck out of here. I just keep it on I'm track, sorry. no? I'm sorry. It's not fuck out of here. So. Oh, you can't. <laughs> you're real cute. I'm, so, all that to say is, this is what I'm going to say to my sis out here, first of all. I don't fuck with no nigga who be fucking with a bitch he really fuck with, but be acting like that's not his bitch publicly or like or be on social media acting like he don't got a bitch because i'm not one i'm not one of those girls and i don't think no girl should be fucking with a nigga that publicly is not proud to say he's either dealing with her exclusively or even dating her exclusively like if you fuck with her you fuck with her now i will say is i'm not saying if y'all not together If y'all not together, and that does mean I'm not doing no girlfriend shit for you. You're not doing boyfriend shit with me. We're just specifically in a dating stage where we kick it from time to time and we're still figuring out it out. You may be dating other people. That's fine. I'm not saying like that. But what I'm saying is if we're consistently together, we're consistently fucking, you're, you're, you fucking come to my mom's house to pick up plates. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know what I'm saying? I'm, you're driving my car. I'm driving your car. We pulling up the other your close friends events together. Maybe not the club together, but we pulling up to your close friends together, like all these things. And you can't, 
simply, I don't know, shout me on my birthday. Like, you know, do you know, I fuck with shorty. You know what I'm saying? Like, woo, woo you a dub, period. So, but sh- wait, hold up. What? So you would fuck with a nigga that got a girl as long as he just Where did that come it. from? Because you said you ain't fuck with a nigga that is hot and his girl. Nah, don't ever hide your girl. What right, you but about? if he not hide I'm not girl? saying, if, I'm telling, no. That was my, what? <sighs> nice shot day. <laughs> keep nice. It cute. Keep it cute. If you don't got nothing to say, keep it on mute. Nothing nice to say, keep it on mute. Okay, so I didn't say that. So first of all, I ain't fucking with no nigga who got a bitch, regardless. That's and I don't think and that's a whole nother topic. Cause look, these it is a lot of bitches out here. If you fucking with niggas with bitches, y'all gotta stop that shit. Cause one, some bitches can fight. Two, <laughs> two, that's bad karma. Three, that's bad BV for your vagina. That's what I'm gonna say. So all that to say is, I'm saying like a nigga who's fucking with a girl. Like, like I, I see that too common. Like, Monique, you, you get what I'm trying to say? Like, be fucking with a girl in private exclusively. Like, do everything with her, eat, telling her she love her, eating her ass, everything, oh, right? Wait. Oh, because the nigga will eat your ass real quick and then go deny you on public. I don't know what's wrong with these niggas. They got a chocolate face. Chocolate face. <laughs> Stupid. Well, I just ate a Ta- up, bunch upper of lips. Upper lip smell like ass. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, and then you got the nerve to be going on social media acting like you single. That's why niggas be full of shit. Cause they eat all the ass, and they always smelling themselves. They smelling the ass on their on their lips. So like, what's that little dance? No, I think that's where that came. Hey, from. speaking of three, man, come on. I, we can't. We ain't hooked the phone up today, but hold up. Oh. Let me see something. Let me. Let me. Speaking oh. of threes and shit. Let me oh. see something real quick. Oh, look at you being a good friend. Yeah. I see. I see. I see. Let's see. Look at you being a good friend. We ain't, we ain't hooked the phone up today, but we gonna y'all gonna get it. How y'all can get it. <clears throat> <laughs> This nigga better answer the fucking phone too. Mm. Oh wow! How long do you wait? Wow, for somebody to answer the phone? Amir. How long do you wait? Wow, Amir. All Lord. that back talk All yesterday. All that shit, and they didn't even answer the fucking phone. Wow, Amir. <clears throat> Moving on. Oh, uh, happy wow. birthday! To happy my, birthday, Amir. To my guy Amir, his strong ass. He always wanna like Here fight they me go. or something. No, Jay and Amir. Are like tweedle D and tweedle dumb. What? <laughs> like they're the same motherfucking person, and they strong and just brolic and just always come in ready to fight. Like it's just like cut it out, you both. Like they're like the brothers, like they're like step brothers. You ever watch the movie Step Brothers? Do you, do you answer, nigga? When when you call somebody, they call back. Do you answer? On his birthday, you can't say. All right, all right, all right. Hello. Yo. Hey, Amir. Uh, this is Jay and Sade from the Gemini Scorpio podcast. <laughs> <laughs> so just let you know you on a podcast right now. So don't say no wild shit, nigga. <laughs> so we episode thirty three. Yeah. Episode thirty three. So today. we we don't got the phone hooked up, but you on speaker. <laughs> that is a great number. Thirty three. Had to call you on episode thirty three. Wish you a happy birthday, bro. Happy birthday, Amir. Appreciate it. We love you, love you too, love dog. You. Have a good day. Right. We was just talking shit, so. Right. <laughs> you gonna see it. <laughs> hey man, happy birthday, man. We just, uh, have a great day. All right. All right. No problem. <clears throat> Amir and uh, and Jay are like step brothers. Like, if you've seen that movie and they just be fighting over things, get your balls off my drum set. Like, what the like, fuck? Them. like, that's like them to a T. What the like, that's fuck? my favorite part, too. That's like them all the team. My dads are not on your drum set. Like, what it's the just fuck? like, you know, <laughs> I never even heard that. You've never seen that for, oh my God. I'm gonna play it for you after this, and it's gonna make a lot of sense to you. Like, that's oh. so funny. That's but shout out to him there. <laughs> yeah, so long story short, don't be in these private situations That's giving up damn, that man. that private pussy and not getting public attention. Question. What's BV? Oh. <laughs> it's a oh, bac- bacteri- bacterial, uh... bacterial vaginosis. Yeah. When basically your pH... Ba- so guys don't understand this. Well, I can't even put it on guys. Women need to know better. So... When you are messing with a guy who is fucking multiple girls raw or even another girl raw and you fuck the other girl raw, you now mess up her pH balance and you can give her BV where smells funny, discharge nastiness is just not, 
you know, and some, <clears throat> and just to say that it's just, it's really just an unbalance of the hormones and the um, positive uh, pH and the negative pH balances. You know, I hope I explained that right. I'm not like a OBGYN. Damn, I thought you were supposed to know that shit. You're I mean, right? I'm not an OBGYN. I know what it is, but I can't, the actual verbiage that they put behind it in textbook, I wouldn't be able to say because, again, I'm not an OBGYN. Okay. But I know what it is. Like, all, right, all, right. <clears throat> all that to say is don't be out here sticking and sticking and sticking because you fucking, you know what I'm saying? And but girls need to know better over guys because guys don't even know what really goes on in the female box except for fucking it. So I blame it on women because we're the only one who monitors. Our... I know what's going on in there. <sighs> Me, <laughs> I knew it. I, I knew, knew it. it. I knew like, it. I'm in it, boy. Whatever. Moving on. <clears throat> the two sides of criticism, right? So I want to talk about this. I um, mean, what I mean by this, uh, you know, Shade says something to me. And it, and it made a lot of sense because I, I would hate to feel like that. And what she said was, let me. I feel so was, nice today. <clears throat> nice, Shade. So we was, um, she was like, it's always something. I feel like it's always something. And I definitely would, I would hate to feel like it's always something in a relationship, right? And I feel like with any, not even just relationship, work, just being friends with somebody and it's always something. But on the flip side, how do the person feel who feel like they always got to say something? I feel like it's two sides to each story. Like, you feel like it's always something, and somebody else might feel like, well, damn, I always got to say something. Facts. I, <laughs> like, how can we even expand on that? How do we have that conversation? I mean, it's definitely, I think the position is hard to be in overall because, like, for example, the person who's always getting something said about, like, it almost can feel like an attack, like you're being picked on or somebody's doesn't like you because or the things you do or how you move so it's like damn you always got something to say about me but then again sometimes because i think like even jay and i relationship we use flip sides a few times on the same sector so it's also annoying to have to be the one that like why do i have to keep saying the something to you about shit. this or that or that and it almost feels like they're being unheard or their 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 feelings aren't being taken into consideration so it is two sides um and it's a hard it's a hard space to be in and it's almost like as people are growing it's like i always put everything back to a grace thing because it's just like as people are growing where's the balance because it's like yeah you might always have to say something because we're still you're still figuring me out like or yeah i might be doing things un unintentionally because i'm still figuring me out Thanks. so like <sighs> Where's the balance with that? Like, because, or, or like, how do you find the balance in that? Because that could really tear up a relationship or even a friendship or even a parenthood to child. Like, on all spectrums of ships, it can really tear apart the relationship. So I'm going to say from my, my perspective, and I want you to say from your perspective. Right, my bet. perspective is coming from a understanding side of, like, both sides, right? And I feel like it is a hard position to be in, but instead of looking at it as a hard position to be in, we should look at it case by case. And right. we should look at it each time. So <clears throat> anytime, look, that go that one eight 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 hundred number. That's Instagram. Nice shot. Talk I'm talking about. Oh, oh, who you got saved? Oh, that's some bitch named Cynthia. Let me see. Why answer. Cynthia though? Let me answer. I don't know. Hello. Hi, Jay. Hello? See, they know when they hear the girl, don't say nothing. <laughs> they, 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 they train well. <laughs> but, no, nah, I'm joking. Um, what I was, yo, Monique is a sad bitch. <laughs> she, she promoting uh, domestic, domestic violence. violence huh? like, she thought it was going to get boop, boop. Come like, on, <laughs> niggas is getting canceled out here for that shit. Y'all better relax. Yo, but anyway, um, what I was saying is, um, I think you should handle it case by case scenario. So if somebody brings something up, instead of looking at it, looking at what they, what they brought up last time, handle that situation in that moment. So if it's an issue, let's focus on that issue. Let's not focus on if I said something yesterday. Let's not focus on if I said something 10 minutes ago. Let's focus on how you really feel in that moment. But people are human. So realistically, that sounds good, right? But if you just said something to me 10 minutes ago, and you said something to me yesterday, and two days ago, and last Friday, motherfucker, I'm overwhelmed. Well, guess what? I'm overwhelmed too, because I got to keep saying no, something. All right, like all right. You, see how you, you see how the, the energy changed up right there. You see how the energy, it, <laughs> but it, it really, <laughs> nice shot day. It really went side, like, it went like, you know, you just, because it's like, you know, just let's focus. Then it went like, because you a fucking child. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> you know, God bless. However, this is what I will say. That is fine and all, but the same way you're like, you know, let's focus on right now, focus on whatever. A lot of times I think people still hold on to how they felt 
10 minutes ago, how they felt two days ago, how they felt last Friday. So like you may think you're just coming to me about right now, but realistically you are also overwhelmed because you've been having to say something since last Friday. Mm. Like, so it's not the same approach as it would be if I'm just addressing one thing right now. It's the frustration that I've been saying things five, six times and they're all six different things, but bitch, you a child. So, so how, how, what would be your advice to handle it? Um, so because like we're living through it, it's hard to give like a sound advice. Um, but what I will say of what I would like to see happen or even like a guide for other people, what may help is just again, grace and patience. Like at the end of the day, nobody's perfect. And everybody, if you come to somebody with a problem on Friday, two days ago, 10 minutes ago, and today, you have to understand that I'm probably still working on the thing from Friday. Mm, okay. You get what I'm saying? Like, so I'm still trying to grasp that. All right, I grasped that, but then I'm still trying to focus on the thing from three days ago. Mm. Now, 10 minutes ago. Now it's another thing. I, I like I, I can't juggle but so much. So I understand you have needs and you have things that you want to be changed, but you can't think six things are going to change in one week when sometimes it takes motherfuckers a year to change one thing. Fair. So if I, if something gets... So hypothetically, right? <clears throat> if something... Know. Come on, buddy. Get your shit together. Nice, Sade. <laughs> All right, my Y'all bad. gonna learn to love this shade because I'm about to give it to because they don't. <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> mean mean where? <laughs> but so all right, if so, how do I handle that if something is bothering me right now? Let's like, say I, I did I, I said something 25 minutes ago, right? And let's say you do something that bothers me now. Should I not say something because I just addressed something 20 minutes ago, or how how would that? I'm gonna just let this might be a little mean, but it's not mean. I mean it with intent. But goddamn, you a bothered motherfucker. Like, why you gotta be bothered every second? Relax. Everything, like, everything don't gotta be a problem. I think that's the other thing with people. Like, everything just gotta be a problem when certain things, it's like, pick your battles. Like, I think people do have to get better at picking their battles. So. Everything can't be a battle. Okay. Like, so no, no, real shit. Like, okay, if you're mad, like, oh, you know what I'm saying? All right, me, I'm gonna use me, right? I can't, like, if I'm mad, like, ugh, you left the fucking toilet seat up again, like, whatever, whatever, you pissing around the toilet, then I come in here, and I'm like, bro, you ain't do no laundry this second, like, bro, bro, I hate when you fucking be obnoxious when you drunk, bro, like, it's just like, bro, I didn't really have to say nothing about the toilet, I could've just shut the toilet and just, like, let it be, right, that's a battle, right, you're a nigga, I understand, okay, next, all right, the laundry, <sighs> You know what I'm saying? Can you help me with the laundry? Can you just help me with the laundry? I don't have to complain to you. I could just say, can you help me with it? Now, about the obnoxious when you're drunk, if I feel like that's a bigger problem, it's like, look, can we sit down and talk about this? You know, sometimes I feel like when you're drunk, you're a little obnoxious. So like, I feel like it can, it's approach. It's approach. It's also approach, picking your battles, and just patience. Because, again, if I feel like you always got the seat up, don't do the laundry, obnoxious when you're drunk, you're like, damn, bro, I'm just trying to remember to fucking shut the toilet seat. Damn, I'm trying to remember that, damn, I got to run out the door, but I got to take the clothes off the dry, the washing machine, put them in the dryer. Oh, damn, now I got to focus on not being obnoxious when I'm drunk. I like to drink. I've been drinking six years of my life. Like, it's a hard thing to have to monitor. We, Bro, we can't even monitor. Like, we forget. Bro, you forgot to read the that it was a pool party on the invitation. Whoa, whoa, what the fuck? Wait, wait, how we got get you there? in there? It's like, <laughs> so, like, what I'm saying is, but we forget little things, like, you know, we might got to vent like, oh, I forgot. Like, we might, oh, I forgot. Like, you know what I'm saying? Oh, shit, I got to go make this appointment for the dentist. I forgot. Like, it, it's so many things we forget. So to think that somebody on top of everyday life happening, on top of having to care about everything we care about, now you want me to worry about the six problems you got and fix them all right now? Sweetie, you're going to be lonely. Hmm, interesting. I like that. Oh, did you like it? Yeah, it was a great take. Oh, did you take up? Yeah, yeah, I took well. Aww. Let's get to the shits, man. Let's get right on down. Let's go. Let's get to the shits. Wow, this is a day ago. I like this podcast. It ain't toxic at all. Because nah. I'm being nice. I'm about to make it toxic <laughs> shit. <laughs> I got Wait, no, no, no. Yeah, we, yeah, we did. We had a long, one last topic before yep. we got to the shits. Damn right. And I don't <laughs> ever got a topic. <laughs> damn right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what's, what's going yeah, on? Damn right. Yeah, damn Come right. Come on. What's, go, what's going what's on? What's up, Alex? So, how y'all feel? When somebody is triggering stuff from your past that you felt like you've grown past, like you took time to heal and grow and move past it, and you just meet a motherfucker that just <laughs> you meet a motherfucker that just <laughs> but it's doing the right things right. and pushing all the buttons. It's like, all right, bet I'm gonna let the dog out, bet right, because you, you got me fucked up. Period. To the T, yeah. To the period with a T. Uh huh. Okay. So how y'all feel? 
how you feel? <laughs> I, I ain't gonna I, lie. So I'm trying to figure the fuck I, out. <laughs> like, I ain't gonna lie because I've had such a long journey of just from being like one way when like I was like when I was 16, 17, 18, I was a wild young woman. Not even woman, wild young nigga. Cause I wasn't even, I wasn't even being a girl or I was being a wild young nigga. And I was just spicy and I ain't give a fuck. Like, you know, y'all think I'm gonna give a fuck. Now, I feel bad for all the people who was in my life at that time. I really do. Cause I was a handful, okay? I was not easy to deal with. So coming from such a long journey on all the things that I had to like train myself to not do, train myself to not think. Like it is annoying when people press on certain trigger points because it's like, bro, you think I can't step back there for two seconds? I will fuck everything in here up, okay? Flip every table, light this motherfucker on fire. Whatever you want, we could go there. What? I'm listening. <laughs> okay? So it's crazy because when you get, sometimes like I be telling people, you're not going to be perfect all the time. So like for 10 years, I might have nailed it. On 11th year, I might fail. Like, I might literally fuck some shit up. Like, I'm sorry. Like, and sometimes people, not only do people trigger you, they can be antagonizing to your triggers. So it's one thing, it's like, all right, you know what? You said that, I'm going to let, you know, I ain't going to say nothing. Nah, but da da da. And they'll keep, and like, it's like, what, okay. What was one thing I was oh, you going to keep, your so, they, they keep turning the knife. What was one thing I antagonized on your trigger? <sighs> My trigger. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. You know, this is a great conversation because I don't even think we ever had, like, on serious, yeah. right? Yeah. I don't even think we ever had like, this conversation. Like, what's the, like, a trigger yeah, that so you say? Yeah, so what's something that I've been So it's not, really a th it's not really a thing. It's what you do. Like, so I don't like when people talk at me. Mm. Like, so I'm a big stickler, like, on, and, and, and forgive me because sometimes I may be accountability unfair with it because I'm also aggressive in my pitch, too, sometimes, right? So, but there's sometimes, like, like, for example, say Jay comes to me with a problem, he talks at me. Like, he'll, he might talk at me. Like, you need to, you need to, and I'll take it for a second. It's like, and because you need to, you need to, all right, nigga. Like, and I'm not going to tell, all right, bitch. I don't know what the fuck. <laughs> Hey, yo. Like, nice shot. You know what I'm saying? Like, nice shot. Nice but I'm just saying, right. But, because, ooh, trigger. So, but that's what I mean. Like, sometimes, like, it's not always what is said, it's the action. Like, it's like the, like, first of all, calm down. Put your hands on when you're talking to me. I don't want to have to tell you again. Stop yelling at me. I don't want to have to, bro. Like, you keep talking at me. Now it's like, you know what? I told you five fucking times. Stop basing me. Stop talking because I'm, I don't work well with that. So now I'm, now I'm elevating. So, like, I might have stayed here for a while and I keep, like, all right, can you lower your voice? Can you stop talking to me with your hands? Can you stop saying you? And you still don't stop? I might blow through the fucking roof by the sixth time. Like, I ain't gonna lie. Like, you know, I had a fuck enough. Like, you got me fucked up. I don't know who the fuck you're talking to. And it's just, you know what I mean? We're humans. Like, sometimes I might nail it. I might, he might do it. Like, not to say he does it all the time. Or I'm just using this as an example. But sometimes, like, he say he's doing Some days I might be cool. I'm like, you know, I'm gonna let this nigga yell. I ain't gonna give a fuck what this nigga talking about. Whatever, nigga. And the other days, you the big bad wolf. And some days, bitch. Blowing the whole house down. <laughs> Like now we can't handle how to wear the stay because she's been bleeding out. Like, look, I deal with we, that we shit when it come. You feel me? All right. So, <laughs> like sometimes it be like that. Like I I'll deal with that shit when it come. I can definitely see that that I can be talking at you sometimes. First of all, it's not even that Jay talk. Jay can be very antagonizing. All his friends know it. Like I watched Jay antagonize his poor line brother and let a dog bite him because he thought it was funny. Like <laughs> Jay still can hate be, me to this day. He hates that. Jay to this day. Like he kept. Like, the nigga scared of dogs. The nigga keep, Jay keeps, like, and he won't stop. And the nigga really scared of the dog. He keep playing, so the dog keep attacking the nigga, like, Ur! and Jay keep holding him by his ass, chill, 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 chill. And <laughs> then Jay let him, then Jay will let him go, let him go. And the nigga started like, chill, chill, my best time, I love you. Um, so, like, you know what I'm saying? The nigga did it to the point the nigga left. Like, he had enough. But that's, like, that can be Jay, period. Like, can he be can be very antagonizing. And me, I'm, I'm annoyed at life. I just be, I'm annoyed. Like, you everything annoys more me. Shits, like, some right? shit, like. Um, the I more take, you shit, the less. I take right? shit. It doesn't take away that you're annoying. Okay. Thanks, Shade. I didn't mean that. That's mm -hmm. fine. Mm -hmm. It's okay, babe. But the point is, like, I don't like anything that annoys me. Like, everything annoys me. Like, I'm one of those people, like, ugh, annoying. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, like, Jay will just, he won't stop. I'm like, God damn, my nigga, if you don't stop, like, shit. Like, so it's one of those, yeah. Well, that's fair. Well, anyway, I can see how I can be antagonizing sometimes, because that's definitely me. I play too much. Right. <clears throat> you know what Jay's thing? doing? He's warming up so I can, he, so I can be like, I can see how you, I know, I know Jay <laughs> no, thinks he's I'm just, slick. I'm like, giving what I would like. I mean, right, I thought that was a good thing. Like, right, watch, he about to say some off the wild shit now. Watch. I'm not, though. What, the one thing, I'm going to just say one thing. The one thing because there's so many, huh? There's not so many. The I'm gonna just say one thing. No, the one thing, the one thing that I uh, that I think Shadé pokes at my triggers, and I don't think she noticed. It's when I'm really being calm. 
she will like I hate it. She calls it uh she she be like you're being um condescending. condescending. And in my mind, I just want to curse her the fuck out cuz I'm like you have no idea how hard I'm working to be calm right now. I'm the last thing I'm trying to do is be condescending. Like that's the so when you it's like you'll say that and I'm like, "Yo, okay. How can I not be condescending?" She's like, "Cuz that's just being condescending. Like you think you can't have a mood and it still be calm and like, yeah, that's the point. I do feel a way, but I'm not raising my voice because I'm working on that. And she's like, nah, that's condescending. I hate that shit. That's, yo, that shit is one of my, whoo, <laughs> That shit is a trigger. Cause like, I, like you said, our partners don't know how far we came, right? Like she, like she don't know that anytime is a, a debate or argument, I'm turned up. So when I'm not turned up, she think, are oh, you still, you think I can't tell your mood or your, uh, your t- tone? You can't have a tone and still be what, what's the exact words like? I'll be telling him. He'd be like, he'd be like, I ain't mad. i be like, you think because you're not yelling that I can't see it on your body language? Like, right? That's what I said. And I'd be like, yo, just respect the fact that I'm just, I'm still calm right now. I could see that. Yeah. I could definitely be. Um... So they funny as shit. So yeah. they funny as <laughs> shit. <laughs> funny as shit. Yeah. I could see that. I could definitely, you know be a trigger to you and you know call you those things when you're not great job babe you did a fucking great job amazing i like nice shot i fuck <laughs> the people not gonna like nice shot but i fuck with it i love it we could do this shit <laughs> but did we ask you a question like yeah no absolutely yeah, 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 <laughs> we got it but that old like, shit like but, but, but long story short alex honestly like if you see it coming remove yourself because like see like you your situation, you know, that you're talking about, you know, you're not directly with them where you have to be committed to working on anything. So if you already see like a somebody straight. And so that's, I think another thing, like if you're not really, if you're like, for example, this is a lot for singles, right? Because, and this wish is something I wish I learned like through a single stage, because sometimes when you're single and you might like somebody, you'll see a lot of triggers, but you'll ignore it. You keep, you, you, you go, you'll go right over it. Right. So, and then by the time you're in a relationship, if you really like them, now you're kind of compelled to do the work with them because it's like you kind of committed to doing it because you got with them and you already knew. You knew. Mm. So, like, now that you know and you're in that stage, it's kind of one of those things is like, I already knew I ain't even going to put myself in that situation because you're going to make me lose my cool. Like, you know what I'm saying? Now, if you already kind of went forward or you're committed to working with her, now you kind of have to work with her on both. Like, her cool and your cool. Like, because, look, you're, you're really fucking with my triggers. Like, you know what I'm saying? But, like, if you see it beforehand and you don't have to go forward, don't. Because that shit, like, it's it's a process really committing to doing the work. Like, it's a it's hard work controlling your triggers, bro. That is not an easy task. Like, even, like, on, on so many other realms, like, not even in just a relationship, like, on other realms, like, even bitches sometimes. I be want to smack the shit out of bitches sometimes. Like, bro, the shit. like, the shit, like, owe me would do it. Like, I wouldn't, like, like no, like, niggas know, like, oh, me? Yo, I I'm not lie. talking. But nice shot day. Yeah, yeah, nice shot But nice, nice grown shot day, it's just like, <laughs> I just be like, Yo, my okay. mind is so, like, visual. Like, when yeah. I'm just thinking, and we say smack the shit out of my eyes. You can just see, though. <laughs> I can just see somebody <laughs> shitting on himself, like, <laughs> down real, like, mm, and they just bloop, bloop, bloop. Like, like, yo, you know you shitty, like, but my mind What's just you shit? Like, <laughs> you said smack the shit out of me. Take a shit, the nigga's shitty. You said smack the shit out of my eyes, I'm thinking, like, I just think I the, like, the worst yeah. shit, like, shit nah, but like that ass, like sometimes, and sometimes on the leg, they got on shorts. <laughs> <laughs> That's disgusting. That's very nasty. It's smack the shit out of a nigga. Hey, yo. Like yo, that's <laughs> like, <laughs> hey yo. <sighs> <laughs> Relax. <laughs> hey yo. Relax. <laughs> Oh, um, but long story that. short, like I be really wanting to shit. I ain't gonna lie, this was itself sound foul. Sometimes I be want to smack this shit out my mom, bro. Like, oh, my <laughs> she, oh no, I swear to God, my mom know how to push your trigger. I be like, oh, you lucky you, my mother, bro. Because I swear to God, if you was a regular is. bitch on the street, I would have dexed your shit, yo, bro. Your parents know all your triggers, though. Bro, they know parents every know trigger. all your triggers, but like, yo, that's a lot of work. Like you, to remember that's your mom. And that's yo, a no, no, I be seeing a post. I be like, yo. Ten million dollars, you gotta smack your moms. Bitch, bye. <laughs> Come here. I'm gonna break a fucking uh. neck. <laughs> smack this shit. That shit gonna be broke. Pay me. <laughs> I paid a medical. We'll get bill. that fixed. We'll get yeah. that. <laughs> right, right, right. Get your. We get your new neck. Like. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yo, bitch, you just. Yo, I ain't gonna lie. Just hey, just, yo. yo. Not a new neck. <laughs> 
I know, like, cause yeah. Jay mom be watching she the podcast. She be watching the podcast. She might be like, Jay. I'm a supporter. Like, yeah, I love you. I'm like, yeah, I love you too, man. <laughs> It's 10 mil though. New yeah, neck. Two, yo, you know what I'm saying? Like, yo, just, yo, probably will slap you if you get you get it. What you mean? It would be the reverse. No. Yo, 10 mil, my mom, my mom loves somebody. She's like, fuck it, baby. Do what you got to do. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> like, you mean. You want the like, left? You want the left or the right? right. <laughs> exactly. Oh, my God. You just want to break her fucking. Just. <laughs> <laughs> Like, damn. That but that should take a lot of self control. Because I remember, you know how your mom used to block your mom head? They used to go tell everybody, used to hit them. Like, you know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna lie. One time, like, when I think I was like 17, I tried to square up with my mom. Like, because I was like, you are all right. You keep telling people I hit you. Come on. Bust a move then. Nah, <laughs> I couldn't do it. She jabbed the shit out of me in my face. I was like, you know. So I think at one point in time, like, when my mom she used to whip my ass, she used to beat the shit out of me with her hands, right? And like, one, I think it got, I don't know how old I was. She used to hit me and I used to just like, Look at her. Like, yeah, she used to hate that <laughs> shit. She would punch me in my chest and be like, <laughs> just look at her. And she'd be like, oh, you want? Now right. she right. threatened put me matter. out and shit. Like, right, now right, she, right. oh, you she bitch now, huh? Oh, you bitch. Right. Oh, you a... grown, oh, you a grown man now because you can take a punch. Get out. Right. Get like, the fuck out. Like, pack your bags. Like, you going to square up at me? Like, he going to look at me like he want to fight, put his chest out. Like, <laughs> What I'm supposed just, to do? Right. right. <laughs> they just hit the, right. they just punched the shit out of me. Like, I got asthma too. Like, <laughs> I can barely breathe. I'm looking at you, like, trying to catch my fucking breath. Like, sometimes, yo, sometimes Sade will think I'm like being mean or like, I'll come in the room and I'll huff and puff. And she'll be like, oh, what's your fucking attitude? I got fucking asthma. Like, I'm about to fucking die. Like, like you talk about, like, what the fuck is my I'm like, like, I'll be like, nah, that should be blowing me though. Like, what the like, fuck is Jay, wrong with you? I'm like, yo, he nothing. really, like, like nah, nah, because like, it, it really, no, nah, that's facts though. Because sometimes they just be walking around. Like, <sighs> <laughs> yo, I can't fucking breathe. <laughs> he be like, like <sighs> I be mean, like, <laughs> Yo, what's the problem now? <laughs> like, ain't no problem. You like, criticize. Right, right. The only problem is I can't fucking breathe. But the die this bitch. And you talking about what's the problem? Like, 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 like help me, nigga. Like, sometimes, like, we'll be in an argument. He'd be like, I'd be like, bro, like, I'm not even doing nothing. I'm not irritating. I know he'd be looking at me like, I'm just trying to breathe. Like, nigga, like, I'm just trying to, like, just you know, trying to like, get my breath. breathing you know? together. Right, Hitler, right. Shit. Right. Do you ever hear Nah, fuck that. Sometimes he'd definitely be huffing and puffing. <laughs> that, was me. that was really me, like breathing, like you know what I'm saying. Like, anyway, let's get on to the shits, man. Come on, man. Oh, what are we talking about today? We got ooh, Kanye, yay, yay, yay. Kanye West is a fucking idiot. I love him though. Could I have a hookah call, anybody, please? If anybody cares, thank you so much. Yo, Alex. so Kanye um, West. My bad. You we talking about the, just the tweets or the entire situation? So, um, okay. Let's talk about. All right, it. Honestly, it's, it's a lot. <laughs> it's, a fuck, it's a fucking lot going on with Kanye right now. Because I, I was going to say the whole thing, but the tweets was a little wild. Like, my nigga is calling out the whole Jenner clan. So I never like, seen he the going tweets up, that he deleted or something? He, he going up on Kris Jenner. Uh, he's talking about her exploitation of Playboy and the kids. The and totals. Um, It's a little left for me because I'm like, okay, what is he really trying to say? Because he keeps calling out how North never gonna be exposed to no Playboy by Chris. Like, she got me fucked up. Like, she not even allowed to see my kids. And I'm Damn. like, whoa. Like, so wait, they, they what is he tweets? saying? Maybe, Cause possibly. Uh, Cause recently he ended up, so he also was saying that how he um been trying to file for a divorce from Kim. Um, and then he recently made a post of how he was apologizing to Kim cause he know he hurt her for putting their personal business out there. So, you know, yeah, it, it, it's, I'm so I'm a little confused because like again I'm really big on so I know they said that you know Kanye is he's diagnosed bipolar correct I, I don't know he's if, diagnosed I don't know yeah he's a Gemini so so yeah they all bipolar he wow. right Gemini's are born bipolar okay that's let's, facts let's, let's, let's. but did the doctor diagnose him I want to say so but I don't want to say so if I I'm not right so what do you want to say so say. So, <laughs> so, all right. So long story short, the, the theory is that Kanye <laughs> is bipolar. And here's my thing. God damn. Fire in the yard. All right. So my thing is, if it is just a manic episode of where he was really just lashing out and then he, he comes back and like apologizes, it's like, all right. But I'm really a stickler. Like, bro, if that's how you feel, that's how you feel. I, I would rather you just stand on how you feel. Like, cause like. It's really confusing when he goes back and he like apologizes to Kim, like, cause it's like, so what's truth and what's false? Cause now I don't know. And he said so many things, it was kind of like, 
He said like they killed. Who did they say they pull killed? Out the tweets? He said uh, they killed. It wasn't Bill Bellamy. Was what a tweet said? What, nah, what, nah, what nah, are we nah. finding? He, he was talking me... about Cosby, but he basically said N- NBC is the reason why. Cosby is in a situation that they right like they really he was just saying a lot of shit that I'm sure like you know the elites don't want to get out there um you know that he claimed that they're trying to put him in a, a facility right now and they're gonna try to kill him like he's really wilding out and um I don't know if he okay because there's people who's backing him at the same time so like black china her mother came out like no that this is what it is that's exactly how they are like you know what I'm saying you know they Black China allegedly still has a lawsuit against the Kardashians um, that apparently is still active because, you know, she got proof like in all these things of them blackmailing her and getting her shows canceled and all these things of how they roll. We seen how they did to Jordan. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Like we see like and Tristan. and Tristan and like we see how they move with these people. Well, not these people, because I ain't talking about these people. Let me be specific. We see how they move with our black people. You know what I'm saying? Like, and it is what it is. And, like, you know, I, Can you I'm just lost for words, okay? I'm trying to look what it was on the shade room. Some of they them post so up. much shit. Yeah. Like, God damn. It, it, it's a lot. Like, it's a lot. So I kind of want to talk about the tweets, but I also want to get an overall analysis on Kanye and where his um, thinking is going. Uh, MJ, told, MJ told you about Tommy before they, they killed him. Uh, Kim saved my daughter's life in the name of Jesus. It's God's choice only. I will have, I will live for my children. Uh, Chris, I'm in Cody. What? Chris, I'm in Cody. If you're not plan- planning another one, your children play Playboy shoes. Uh, I don't know what the like, fuck. Like, that's that wild accusations. You can't just be putting shit out like that. Because that's white, not something you can apologize from. White like, supremacy so. at, its, uh, at its highest, no cap. This Jay, you ready to talk now? Or are you still avoiding my calls? Um... Miss Yeah, I'm ready to go to war, he said. So, like, why do we care? Like, what's going on? I think it's the information he's been putting out, the names he's been dropping. Okay. And the commentary behind that. It's a little alarming because, again, these are, you know, what we would call the elite stature of people with these notions behind their names. And it's like, okay, what's false or facts? Because, you know, in the age of the cancel culture, niggas is ready to cancel motherfuckers left and right. Like, what did they do? Cancel. Okay, she's out here selling Playboy on North. Cancel. Like, you know, they ready. So, like, we don't know. People don't know what's what. That's Corey Kamye. <laughs> <coughs> so, wait, his name is Kamye? Wait, <laughs> what? That's Corey. Oh, they I call think... him Kamye because he's yeah. trying to say he look like him. But yeah. they, they want him to be like him. Like, oh. he's what, him. what about when Kanye say he, they made the movie Get Out about him? Listen. I'm saying, though. Well, so, my thing is, like, the tweets are kind of, like, far-fetched. But it's, like... I didn't really care about the tweets. Now, what I will say is, in the in the in in the world of cancel culture, right? I, it seems like everybody is upset with Kanye. Like, is anybody saying anything about anybody else? Is anybody saying anything about Chris? About uh, Kim Kardashian? About- I mean, of course, I've seen I've seen some really pers- like some really strong perspectives on how the Kardashian clan is dealing with somebody who is supposedly be their family in a bipolar manic episode of saying they're not supporting him. They're not coming out and coming in a loving way as him being the father, their, their son-in-law, a, a brother-in-law. Nobody's really coming to Kanye's defense as if now Kim held it down. I ain't gonna lie. She put out, she put out a tweet and just was like, look, like at this time, like I don't like she, one, they're not letting, uh, the filming happened with Kanye and the kids. She's like, no, you guys cannot film my family. And she basically came out like, you know, Kanye is, you know, going through something right now and I'm going to support him and um, please just respect my family's privacy and these things. Um, however, again, I'm just confused if this is a manic episode or is he speaking truth? It's just Kanye. You get what I'm saying? Because, and that's what I'm saying. Because if he is speaking truth, then her statement is contradicting because you're trying to make it seem like he's having a bipolar episode and he's really speaking truth so yeah. that's where it gets tricky for me because i'm like which side is like what are we saying about him are we saying that this is his, his you know we already know he doesn't articulate what he's trying to say the best but it doesn't mean what he's saying isn't truth and it doesn't make sense so if he is saying what he's saying and there's truth behind it and you guys are calling it a bipolar episode and you're sending doctors to come save him then we are talking about something completely dangerous to a society and that is not okay 
And I have seen plenty black women speak out on Kanye's behalf and like, there's no way that my husband, brother-in-law, my son-in-law is about to be out here like this and I'm not backing him and speaking out or speaking out for him and holding him up. He's literally basically crying out for help and you guys are basically, he's bipolar, doctors come get him. So yeah, it's, it's, I don't know, like because I don't know what's truth and wrong, it's hard to say, will we ever know? Hard to say. Um, you know, I definitely, I, I love the pray for Kanye uh, hashtag um, because I think this is very sad to see, especially from one of our favorites that we've grown up with. Like nobody wants to see somebody out here. And even if these things are true, it even be that the case. Like, you know what I'm saying? If even if it's bipolarism, even that be the case. And to see that Kanye's acting like this, it's almost like he doesn't have anybody. Mm. Yes. Like, and that's what's like dawning on me. Like he don't have like, somebody uh, like a bestie like and although i seen like dave Chappelle pull up and justin Dave Bieber uh, just like people. people pull up but uh, where's his close friend like right. who's his who's his bestie bro yeah yeah but jay-z like i like i don't know man I, um, I, like, yeah, it's, it's tough to watch like because i don't know what's going on i think i think for me the biggest thing is because i actually have somebody in my family close like my brother deals with mental health you know what i mean so seeing it on like a big stage like that i think it highlights the conversation of mental health you know mm -hmm. and i have seen a lot of people like black women come out and say like it does show you that sometimes before this is before kim came out with the statement mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. they were saying that the kardashians really don't care you know what i mean and like yeah. you're saying but um so it's I, something that i feel like the I wanna, conversation needs to be had yeah i want to have this this conversation since like because it's serious right and my only brother is Diagnosed with bipolar disorder, but I ne I never was really around him, mm. so I don't really know. So I definitely think it's a conversation. So I'm gonna come my mom's real quick. Oh, that's so cute. So yeah, yeah let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. What? Yeah, I'm about to tell her. <laughs> Ma, he said he was gonna smack you for ten mil. Say. Ma, where you at? I mean, can you talk? Wait, what are y'all talk? What's going on? What's going on? No, we just the All right, so is, is it a good time to talk to you? Is it a good time to talk to you? Yeah, no. Nah. <laughs> what the heck is going on? <laughs> it's a boardia by the tree. You heard it's what she said. They out the country sitting around the tree. <laughs> it's an interlude right now. You know? Right. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, so I want to have this conversation, but I can't. I, I want to be careful with him because yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I haven't seen him have a bi bipolar moment. You get what I'm saying? So it's like, I really well, don't know. Well, they've called a lot of his moments he's had bipolar. I think one year he had a concert and he went off, and that's the first year they put him in a institute. Yes. But let's talk about the doctors. They diagnose with anything, though, honestly. I mean, well, yeah, they said, according to like the spectrum that they have, Almost everyone has some form of a mental yeah, we illness, all do. You know what I'm saying? So it's just a matter Nigga, of being, being yeah. black. You have like you you're born I mean, with a mental like illness. Like you have like see so much yeah, shit. Like, the traumas that we have to endure growing up and stuff like that within all communities. You know, yeah, Hispanic, we all suffer in something. Asian communities, we do suffer right. from something. But it's a matter of like having some people have more resources right. than others. But then right. I think one of the biggest things is accepting and understanding. But some people don't even see it as an illness. You know, when some people are able to grasp it. As like this is like I remember Kanye called it one time like this is my superpower you know what I'm saying oh, yeah. like, you oh, know yeah. when you look at it it's all about perspective if you're able to cope with it and move I mean yeah. it's an episode you right. go yeah. through episodes and my brother uh, you said he's bipolar my brother suffers from schizophrenia so you right, know what I mean right. so there's God in bless. that moment it's like yeah. do you know you can't even grasp Christ between ra reality and, and what's going yeah, on yeah. so grace is the biggest yeah. word during that time yeah. because it's like really coming to terms that it's not him yeah. And, it took me a long time because, you know, dealing with it growing up because he got diagnosed when I was 11. Right. When you're 11, you don't really know what it means. What What's it means. Right. So he just started to resent the person. Hello? Sorry. All right. Uh, so we're on a podcast and uh, we were talking about Kanye West and. Um... Mom, I'm going to just call you back. <laughs> Love you too. I tried. But she yeah, got so niggas in the background. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? Like, <laughs> I remember when like, Jay mom showed me her boyfriend. Jay was so mad, bro. <laughs> Look at him. She got niggas in the background. Like, mom can't even have a life. Shout out to mom. What you was but saying, nah, I mean, I think it's grace and understanding that, like, it's not that person. 
You know what I mean? And it took me a long, and it's still sometimes when I just be like, this right. thing a while, bro. But at the end of the day, it's like really to understand that it's not him in. Right. Put myself in his shoes. And it's yeah. like, would you want to be solely dependent on somebody? Right. Would you want to, like everything that you have to do within be, your life is somebody else somebody has to control. Else and you know, like, you don't want to feel like that burden. So how do you feel on the other end? It end? makes me think like, it's crazy because we also, we always got to understand each other as humans, right? Mm-hmm. So I was thinking like, didn't they say, Kim was trying to file for divorce. He was trying like, to file for yeah, divorce. Like oh, I think was, he yeah. was. Oh, wow. So I thought it was her. I thought she yeah. was trying to file. You know, it's crazy too. Like, I think the biggest problem here is our lack of trust in the doctors in our system. Um, because it's like, well, you know, we want, like for me, like I think I want to believe that Kanye may have some situations, but it's hard. I don't know. I really don't know. And that's just my lack of faith in the system or even the elites in the culture of what they do and what they can control. Like it's, it's, and that's not being a conspiracy, like a conspiracy theory. It's just one of those things is I don't trust what like they will do in the midst that they feel like something's getting out or something he's trying to say is not being properly addressed or because the thing about it is like, okay, for example, my boss, <clears throat> his sister was schizophrenic, right? And um, and God bless her, RP. She um, she she would run away a lot, like whatever. Um, and the thing is, like they all try to let her live with them, but like she was kind of one of those schizophrenias where she couldn't be tamed. Like you really couldn't. She would just leave. And because you know, typically they don't live in a reality standpoint. Like when people will try to help her, she was like. She don't know you like she would like really freak out. Um, God bless her. She ended up running away and getting hit by a car. So it was a really sad situation. However, one thing he said to me that stuck out to me, he was like, the thing about it is that he realized with his sister is that she still wanted to live a normal life. Mm-hmm. Like, so you can't just call doctors on them in a way where and she was like, she the reason why she kept running away. He was like, it's something that haunts him to this day is because they kept trying to get her help. Mm-hmm. And all they would do is sedate her. All they would, she was sleepy, put her on the mat. She couldn't be herself. And although that might be needed for certain situations, I feel like anything they feel like they can't control or they don't want to do the work to control, sedate them. Give them medicine. Right. Like, it's bad. Like, you know what I'm saying? And that, when they go through that process, that fucks them up even more. Because, because the people that they're supposed, they <clears> think <throat> they can trust, it's like, damn, they against yeah. me too. So and then you get in a place of, it's me against the world. Right, you exactly. Know? And that's the and one that's, place you don't want to be. Bingo. And that's what I feel like Kanye's going through. I, I think he's more so, it's him against the world. Mm-hmm. Because everybody thinks he needs help. Everybody want to sedate him. Everybody want to put him in a hospital. Everybody, you don't want to do all these things except truly be there for him, right. if that makes sense. And that's where it gets sad for me because I'm like, I couldn't imagine just really, I, I might be fucked up in the head a little bit, but I don't have somebody who's genuinely tried to be there. Everything has to be like, you need help. And I think that's like so insensitive, like, you know, like to keep saying like, he needs help. Like I would see comments like, he need help. Put this man in an institute. But it's like, bro, like he's still a human being. You got to think about it. Like when you say put him in an institute, mm. that's locking somebody away. That's, that's essentially that's saying like, yeah. like you like, telling me to send me to jail. Yeah. Man, let's uh, let's yeah. just send prayers to Kanye, man, and yeah. the whole family. Uh, and speaking of praying, yeah, let's talk about this. Let's just give a quick congratulations to Nicki Minaj. Yeah, shout out to pregnancy. my good Trini sis um, on her pregnancy. Why do you think? People want to hide their pregnancy because I feel like you've been said she was pregnant, yeah. But it's like she wasn't announcing it, yeah. Like, um, so or is it hiding it? Or is it waiting for the right time? Like, oh. um, I think somebody like Nicki Minaj who experiences a lot of hate on the regular, and when I do mean like she literally has like a lot of she as equal as she has her barbs and she has she also has a long hate train, and when you're pregnant, you want to go in peace, like you want to be. So why you want to take care? You don't want the stress. You want to because the baby's like she she's far along now. So which tells me that the baby's about to be born. So she probably had her, her stress levels down. She's probably like got to be at peace and relax because she also wasn't on social media for a while. Like she also like backed out and it, and it makes sense because when you're pregnant, you can't have that stress and be compelled to want to you know, defend yourself, so speak your peace. And you're just really care- worried about your baby's health at that mm. point. So I get why people do wait a while to come out with their pregnancy. Um, and, you know, just to be a little messy, this a little messy. I think the other side of it is at the time that she probably was early in her pregnancy, it was a time that her fiancé, 
uh, was dealing with the rape charges allegations. Not allegations. He already did the time. But what happened is, I guess they had moved to California. He got arrested because he didn't register for a sex offender there. And, um, you know, people were coming back out like, oh, like your brother got knocked for being a rapist. Now your husband, like what type of person are you? Now you have two rapists close to you. Like what, like, you know, and that's just a lot of pressure. You know what I mean? To even have to deal with being pregnant. And I think her best bet was to step back. Like, okay. Well, that's another yeah. congratulations to Nicki Minaj. Congrats, um, <clears throat> Nicki. You know, that's my bitch regardless. That's a little shift, man. These tough. Telfair bags, I say it right? Telfair Tell bags. Telfair. So, Telfair. Telfair. How you say it? Telfair. Telfair. Telfair bags. Um, yeah, they cute. Shorty was on, first of all, Shorty was on Twitter like, I don't want to say wilding, but it's like she had a lot of support. No, so it's I, a guy. I was like, wait, I thought it was I, a girl. So, so, okay, so, so wait, I thought, like okay. So, I thought, I, I thought it was a guy as well. Yeah, Jay so said, I said, bags. Yeah. It's a guy. It's a Liberian guy, apparently, I think, from New York. So who was um, this chick on Twitter? God. But, you know, some people just, they defend it like it's their own. You know what I mean? Some people, they oh, just. Yeah. So I guess the big thing is, like, the people have been buying the bags and reselling them. So essentially, what happens is, like, they're the bags. black-owned black on designer, bags. Bag, designer bags. And I think they run for about 150 150 but to because, 200 you know, the movement right now is supporting black-owned businesses. We're running out of stock. A lot of businesses are running out of stock. So what people are doing are the people that do have them when they restock they buy them and they resell them at a, and make a profit so i guess the problem the question is do you feel like that is stealing from Nigga, the niggas is doing with shoes all the time yeah, like, like you gotta but they the D, so for example the dior ones that just came out they came out for their price people were flipping them for 10 because they sold out and niggas was going but now niggas people yeah, were gonna buy like them 10 bands so the, i can see if this wasn't already a thing but this is why things like GOAT and Stock X and all exist, these yeah. like things exist because people eBay. Damn. Like people have been doing this for yeah, people have been Amazon, doing this for years. It. So although Answer Amazon. That's yeah, although I've seen a lot of people like you're stealing from a black owned business. How? Somebody was like, What if a black person bought it and then sold it? It's still black business. Like at the end of the day. Not to say it like that, it's just that they've been doing like anything anything that's popular that's limited edition, if it sells out, somebody's selling it. Period. Because you know why? It's on high demand. It's right. gone. It's you can't buy it. So, of course, ding, ding, they do it with paintings. Paintings are another example. They've been doing this. Like, you get a painting for this. It, you know, blows up. They're reselling it for two mil to put in a museum. What's up? So, so I think like, it's like, what is the, I don't understand is, the, the big deal. Are people stealing this? No, they're buying it. So they're buying it. it and they're buying it in bulk. To resell it. See now, okay, so right, so, see. so so, so now, that's point, where I can see. Now, but okay, the also part that I want to add in is, the, the I feel like the root of it was because you had a lot of men that doing were buying it. Yeah, the bags. Yeah, I seen that and reselling. I seen that. It. So, so your that line, become, so wait, line so brother, was, your, your close friend got was, ripped I was, apart. I was about to call somebody. I'm, about to, I'm gonna call somebody. I'm not gonna put him on a podcast. I because I'm curious to know are they because if you're buying it and reselling it, is I don't see nothing wrong with that. But the thing is, so the thing is, when you buy it in bulk. Well, no. You're well, okay. So the thing is, it's weird. It's t it's weird because if you buy in bulk from them and you're buying all the bags, Yo. you're still playing. They're, so she, yo, they're still playing her his her, his price. And, um, you, nobody can hear you. But but I wanted to ask you. So with the with the uh the the tall fair bags, right? Did did y'all buy them? Yes. Full price. Full price. Full, full price. Right. So all right. That's all. So if if somebody that's it. If somebody is buying it and then reselling right. it, right? So I can I see, if, see. I can see if yeah. they were stealing it, right? But they bought it at the guy's price, like the price that's on the website. They bought, like it's not like they, you know what I mean? Like, like for the, yeah, like, like they literally that at that point they sold your stock out. Facts, and like if if if, if even if I bought a bulk, right? If I bought bulk of it, then shit, I helped you sell out faster. Like I don't. And, and, I don't and, be, and if you that man, just, raise your price because people is clearly buying them. So like, what's the problem? I, like, because I, I don't yeah, want to be. So I seen it, I but. seen some girls like uh, men need to stay in their place. Like this is a girls. That's what men were saying. Like, what are you talking about? Y'all asked for us to buy bags. Like, like Vaughn was, was like, he was like, I mean, I'm sorry that nobody bought you a bag, but I bought all the bags. So, <laughs> so wait, type so shit. that goes into the type shit. So sorry, yeah, I don't understand the problem. I really don't. I don't either. I, 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 I'm trying to see it, and I'm trying to find the logic. But every time I think about it, I'm like. Either way, the company won because they're sold out. Facts, like you got your money. It you like, got your. It ain't money. like you got a discount. Like you got you you put a price on a bag, and we bought them. 
And and realistically, you lowballed yourself because you didn't realize your worth of your bag yeah. because it's on high demand, which is also why it's getting bought and bought because now people are about to up them to 600 and people are going to buy it because it's a black owned designer bag and niggas is on their black owned behavior and we want designer bags. Like, so at the end of the day, you kind of lowballed yourself. What makes something you designer have... though? Because I, I, that's part a of, great part of it question. is the price kind of so it's like if the bag is 150 I, to me personally i never knew a designer bag that was 150, 150. so nigga i could buy a damn shit exactly sometimes zara got an 80 dollar, 90 dollar bag so is it like, is it really just like is it still designer because they call it designer like what makes it designer that's that's a great question. I don't know. Actually, I don't like, know the answer. I, to that. I really don't that's know because, question. like, when I think about it, like, like you said, like a lot of like the Chanel bags, the Birkins, and like they're so high. Like, because I mean, because they gotta get the get, quality of it. That's so you the got, quality you can't of the bag. Charge anything like right? Exactly. So that goes great in, question. That goes into maybe we need to research what it's made of because you know a lot of like a lot of bags that are like are high, high popular in quality, like they're made out of like top notch, like you know what I mean. So I'm wondering. I don't know. Is it? So, I think it's vegan though. Vegan friendly. I don't know. So that goes into the, uh, this. Oh. That's that. That goes into this question that I've been saying about this Chanel bag versus the LLC. Um, t- me personally, shit. If I can't afford the motherfucking Chanel bag, I'm gonna get you the Chanel bag. But at the L- same time, if I get you a motherfucking LLC, you better not be complaining about that shit. Because most, more, more than likely. Honestly, you, I'm tired of these bitches entitled and asking yeah. for everything. Like, bitch, go get your own yeah. Chanel bag, bro. I know some bitches who's walling right now and buying their own Chanel bags yeah. right now. That's the type of bitch I would rather model. I don't need to keep saying, like, now don't get it fucked up. My nigga got it. Yeah, baby, give me a Chanel bag. Hand that one in the pink. <laughs> but, like, I'm not, like, demanding. I, I feel like I was just talking to my close friend about this yesterday. Like, I feel like girls keep watching what's going on on social medias and watching the, like, little baby buy his baby mother all these Birkins for Mother's Day. Uh, money bag yo buy his bitch this, you know, crazy ass car for her birthday. And they thinking, like, oh, like, bitches, like, oh, my nigga better show up, show out. And it's like, my nigga, they're not them. <laughs> like, right. they're not little baby. They're not money bag yo. Like, why are you, first of all, you're not. They're baby mothers either, quite frankly. So why are we so compelled to tell a nigga, buy me a Chanel bag over LLC? Like, first of all, that doesn't even fit the average household income. Like, uh, and so tells me that you're basically talking to a scammer or a drug dealer because that's the only time I think it's going to be logical for you. And even in that case, it's like that he should be able to put the money in hand and buy you a house and buy you an LLC and get you the bag. What's up? Like, I don't get it. Like, me, I'm not, dem- I hate, like, I don't like the demanding culture that women are going in. Like, mm, he better, he cute. better, it's not even, huh? That's us. I told Jay, I was like, I mean, it's cute, but it's not like, like, it's a regular bag to me. Like, it, like I would buy, for, like, some I'd see at Zara. Like, it's not like something crazy. Like, it's not like, like, it's not even a Louis V to me. Like, it's not, no, like, I'll, you know, like, it's not nothing. It's talking to well, it, again. It, it, it is. Black but owned, so. but it's black owned. But you know what? I respect this other girl. She dropped other black hand black owned handbags that has been selling that people don't even know about. So there's other black brand black handbag brands out there. That's not the only one. One, you know what I'm saying? I don't know who made that popular or who initially made it a thing. But but we're gonna support them because they black owned. Yeah. So. But n- shout, back to these bitches who LLC like Chanel bag me all this shit like right. Like at the end of the day, be grateful a nigga doing anything because y'all bitches don't even know how to cook. I'm sick of y'all. <laughs> like, I'm sorry. It's a lot. Like, I, there's a lot of great women out there, but it's a lot of ain't shit bitches that be asking for a lot. And I'm sick of y'all because y'all making it hard for females who do be working hard out here because niggas don't know what to do. Okay, because it's like, oh, my last bitch was you know a bum asking for too much, so now I don't even want to get my new bitch who actually deserves it too much because I, I don't want her using me. Like, relax. Go speaking of these like these chicks, right? Yo, it's nice shot at. I'm sorry. Yeah, nice shot at. Yo, why um? There's no bitches out here. Y'all seen a video that the chick got blew? She blew up her damn self, right? <laughs> <laughs> like, like, what the fuck is going on out here? I mean, I just want to know what the nigga did for her to want to blow up. That's the car. a million dollar question. Like, right cause there. like, if I want to blow up your car, you violated me to the motherfucking core. She ended up blowing up her damn self. Like, and blew if, up her damn God self. So like it must have not been a person. That, that, <laughs> Facts. That was that situation. That was facts. So, but then not to go back and try to clean up the evidence, like 
But that brings the question of like, yo, y'all ever like wanted to hurt somebody so bad that it backfired and it you end up fucking your own self up? Shout out, you ever did that? <sighs> let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's see, let's see. I mean, I ain't gonna lie. Jay probably don't know this, and I'm gonna share it with everybody for the first time. Like, my baby father was not shit. Like, I fucking couldn't stand this nigga. And when I remember, when I first found out I was pregnant, I was been done with this nigga. So he was living with me at the time. I did, me and my friends took all his fucking designer, all his clothes, everything out the house. We bleached every motherfucking thing, all shoes. Like, we fucked up every motherfucking thing. I never did this to you. This I was young said, me, I, I, young I, I, me. You know what I'm saying? I had my daughter at 18, <laughs> so that means I was 17. Like, you know what I'm saying? When I said we bleached every motherfucking thing, like every motherfucking thing, like literally bleached everything. Like I fucked up his whole entire wardrobe. Like, fuck you. All you care about is your clothes, bitch? Bet. You ain't got none. So all that to say, it didn't backfire on me. I still had clothes. However, it wasn't nice. That wasn't a nice thing to do. I, so I don't recommend backfired, that. Because I mean, because clearly... Whoa. I mean, because that shit backfired. Literally, right. literally, literally like, wow, wow. But, um, right, wow. Again, yeah, that shit on the second. Back, um, but what I will up. say is, uh, to answer your question, because I wasn't the ugly one in that situation, <laughs> so I'm assume that she was doing too much because it didn't backfire on me. Um, but all that to say is, that's not okay. Like, if somebody makes you that mad that you gotta blow up their car, you got to roll, baby. Now I ain't gonna lie though. If you like. I don't know, cause you if you violate me, OD, I'm not blowing up your car. I'm gonna try to do something to you. <laughs> and I ain't gonna lie, I'm gonna okay. keep it hundred with y'all. So we were talking about getting guns and shit, and like having a gun license. I, and I never, I might not have told y'all this. And I must say, the first time on the podcast, one of the reasons why I want to get a gun is because I'm scared y'all they gonna shoot my ass. <laughs> like, I put that bitch up somewhere. She mad. <laughs> she think I try to violate it, and now she gonna kill me. And like, whoa, relax. That's what you think of me? Nah, baby, I don't think. Well, I think you would. I think you probably would sh- get me to. F- you probably you probably shoot me in my pinky toe or some shit. <laughs> Are you probably try. No, we can't go back. Yeah, I was about to say the wrong thing. I'm a just so Lou Will, right? <laughs> I don't even know who the fuck Lou Will so is. I'm break it down, yeah, to right? So I'm about to break it down because I, I see have a question. Out, okay, I seen the tweets. So the, Lou Will is an NBA tweet, player so right, who I plays that, for the Clippers. Right. And if you don't know, Lou Will was the guy that had the two girlfriends, and everybody was talking about that because they knew about each other and they were cool with it, right? But Damn, Long story short, like, every all the NBA where players they what, are, where they find these girls at. I'm just saying, like, what they be made of? Girls? I don't know, but because <laughs> like you got like unless it's a girl that's just like because girls really be okay with this shit. Like, there's some I girls. I never met no chick that's no, okay I've with this shit. Met, I know a few of them. You do? Yes. I, I know them. I know it's some bitches who's really with it. Like, if they like, what are you? At? I mean, if you're taking care of both. Well, yeah, that's the other problem. Yeah, yeah, that's the other problem. actually a fact. If you, but, I can't but do honestly, that shit. nah, because some bitches just be stigmatized. As long as you fucking them, they will deal with whatever you come with. Well, if they really like you. Long story short, basically, <laughs> they they in a bubble right now, and they're not allowed to leave because you're supposed to be quarantined. So allegedly, he leaves allegedly and goes to a strip club. Mm-hmm. So the question that I actually wanted to ask y'all because there was another NBA <laughs> how far, player. Like, how do you tip girls during this time? And social distance. I don't know. Like, ain't no social distancing. Well, I <laughs> like, seen I seen that Texas has their they're the first outdoor strip drive club, through drive through strip mm-hmm. clubs. You get two song, you get two songs. You get two. What's going on, Joe, in Texas? Because they be wilding out there to get your people, bro. They want to do whatever they want. Yeah, they do whatever they want out there. <laughs> That's why their coronavirus numbers are high as hell. Niggas, picture uh, me in a strip club like bullying a dollar. Not you. Pick that up. No, 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 no. <laughs> At that point, you're throwing like you might just go to the the grocery store and get the dollar coins and just oh nah, just there's a coin shortage right there. <laughs> <way. laughs> uh, first of all, that probably what hurt. Facts. Like, but, cause what the fuck? That hurts. Ouch. There was another player though, cause you have the quarantine once you leave. So he's quarantined. They have the quarantine for ten days, and there was another player that left uh, to go get Postmates. And he had to quarantine for 10 days. So my question for y'all is, <laughs> if you were forced to quarantine in a bubble, All right, what's the what point? is one reason <laughs> that you'll leave? <laughs> that you would leave. Honestly? Mm-hmm. Not like, family related, not emergency, but just a reason to step out. So we are, we, are we separate? Uh, yeah. Oh, the fuck, Jay? Oh, I feel bad now. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nigga, don't switch it up now. <laughs> but you said we separate, though. What you was going to say? Yeah, I, we, we I was going to say... They get some space from Shadow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
See what happens when you're nice? This is why nice guys finish last. This is why I'm a fucking cunt. This is why I'm going to fuck real ass bitch. Give a fuck about a nigga. Big breaking bag. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry, I will probably leave. I don't, um, what will I leave for? No, fuck out of here. Honestly, yo. As long as y'all here, I probably don't need to leave. But, all right, so, it not 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 double backing, right? Being real in my answer. I don't need to leave because, like, I'm good with Sade. But we're it's, separate. That's why I said. But you know right, I'm saying? If we're together, like, the only... I'm good, like, just being real. Keep it 100. I'm good. When like, we good, we, I'm good, for real, for real. It's when we not good when I need some fucking space. Yeah, really? like, last like, night, honestly. Jay left at um, 12 at night. He ain't come home until, like, 6 in the morning. You're lying. I came back, like, 1. if that, And I was in a garage. You don't even know that. I was in a garage chilling. I got tired. I got so y'all would know some funny shit. <laughs> <laughs> so boom, I was pissed off because I told Jay, you know what? You're not going to be leaving when we get an argument at 12 o'clock and I don't know where the fuck you going. This nigga going to drop me in the house. He was like, yeah, well, see you later. So I said, all right, bet. He locked the door. I took, he got this long um, pole, no, pole, no homo, that is, it's a projector. I fucking yanked it in the door, like, and I put it. So I was like, yeah, I wish this nigga would try to come in here now. He ain't going to get in this bitch. I <laughs> laid down and I realized how ridiculous <laughs> <laughs> What the fuck? And I was like, if the nigga come home, we pull the door, he can't get in, he's gonna flip shit. <laughs> so I was like, let me go take the car. That's why if you go in the, in the corner, the projector's in the corner of the door. <laughs> yo, uh, moving on, man. That's, that's some crazy shit. But yo, um, Snoop Dogg, DMX, I don't really have anything bad to say about no, that. Was a, it, was a, it was sort of culture. What that, the fuck first is going- of all, it was a vibe. They both got crazy hits. I fucked with it. Them niggas is old though. That's the only thing I gotta yo, say. Yo, nigga, I like, Snoop Dogg is crip walking like yo. The the memes at the, no, the DMX is bare belly and yo, the D- number ten. And, yo, yo, the, the, yo. But it's like you can't be mad because DMX is just really being himself. Like even when, one of my favorite parts of the battle was when um uh what's the nigga name? Swiss Beats had asked DMX to to say something, announce something. Like, what the fuck? The fuck I'm not no fuck I'm not announcing <laughs> that you shit. do it nigga. you do that shit like fuck I look like like but it's like that's some DMX shit like nigga said can you announce it like no, no. nigga the fuck is you talking about like yeah. fuck am I announcing no, like when, or when he was like shout out to oh my baby mama yo he <laughs> the nigga like, got oh. like <laughs> 17 like what and the I think fuck one was in the room I'm not sure he was like like you know I love you like <laughs> like the nigga DMX Oh no, is, yeah, he had one song. He was like, "Yeah, they all ain't shit except for that one, except for that one." So that was yo. One. But what I, what I will say is, if we had to like, if I had to pick a winner, DMX, I would have to go with DMX. But but Snoop held it down. But but Snoop I'm not gonna lie. Somebody down. older than me, if they chose like Snoop, I will understand. Nah, just, Snoop I don't was think, sliding. I ain't gonna no, lie. Snoop, nah, he was, no, but Snoop I don't think sliding. I knew a lot of the songs. Like, just being what honest, was, I didn't listen yeah, to Yeah, I just think I grew up I more yeah. with DMX at that time. So, like, I knew more DMX than, like, Snoop. But, like, Snoop wilded. Like, yo, hands what I will say is, like, yo, Snoop was a great host, too. Oh, yeah, hell yeah. Like, hell he yeah. was, like, he was a great host. Yeah. And I love that they were singing all each other's songs. Yeah, that shit was hard. That shit, that was, hard. shit was so dope. Like, like word for word. Even Snoop was like, nigga, I ain't know you know all them words. Facts. Like, I, it, it definitely, like, that you know was what, one of the best I want to shout out DMX for one thing, though. So I seen um, Nipsey's brother post uh, a clip from when he linked up with Nipsey and all them and just being a prayer warrior. Like, he literally prayed with them and really spoke a lot of motivating things. And I think even throughout the live, he was dropping just, like, gems. Yeah, and I think was. that's mm. something that DMX doesn't give a lot of, get a lot of credit for, for being that prayer warrior and constantly being a motivation, even through his hardships. Because as we know, he's dealt with a lot through being in the entertainment as well. So, you know, you definitely want to give people their flowers while they're here because I thought that was monumental that people can pull clips. Like, that's the type of person I would want to be, that mm. you could pull clips of me praying for people, motivating people, because when it's all said and done, when you're gone, it's really how you made people feel. And to put people in those elements, I thought that was so monumental to see because it was such a old video. Facts. A y- young Nipsey. And I was like, damn, he's been doing that. Like, he's been, like, sharing you know, knowledge and dropping gems, like despite, you know, anything he's encountered. Like, so I thought that was really dope. Yo, shout out to Snoop Dogg and uh, DMX. I think that's all we got for the day, man. Yeah. Gemini Scorpio Podcast, episode 33. Make sure you subscribe to the YouTube page. Make sure you uh, fuck with us on Instagram, Hilla Bay, Mr. Wait, underscore J Hill, no. Pink Celebrity, Joseph D. Friend, uh, Alexander, Alexander the Blanc. The Blanc. I'm the trying to. Gio the Leo. Gio the Leo. We here. With a J, right? Yeah. J-E-O. Gio the Leo. Leo. Make sure you fuck with the squad. You know what I'm saying? Episode 33. Gang. Nice, Sade. We out.